Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, I had a nearly catastrophic run into Guns of Tiki Bay for the third time in a row. Today, though, we are going to head off to the Battle of the Corolla Tolls to finally rid the Corolla Tolls themselves and the Solar Empire of Exylvania once and for all. The enemy's grip on the Corolla Tolls is weakening, and with expert timing, Frontier Command has delivered an Ajax T-500 battle station into your hands. Use it to recapture the last of the island chain and drive the enemy back from, to their homeland. The Exylvanians are using this small chain of islands as the command center for their Coral Adols campaign. Running across two of the northernmost islands, their HQ offers repair and resupply opportunities for all Exylvanian units. Frontier Command believes that if we capture the command center, the Exylvanians will be forced to retreat back to their homeland. Commander? Your primary objective is to secure both halves of the Exylvanian Command Center. Good luck! Easy enough. Brigadier Betty, forgive the intrusion, but one of our scout patrols was recently captured on these islands. If you can rescue these brave and noble warriors, they will gladly assist you in meeting your mission objectives. Alright. I actually thought Betty was going to acknowledge what Lako said, but she didn't, so time to go over the overview of the map. So, we got a fair decent number of defenses. We got a lot of heavy tanks, we got a lot of grunts, we got a lot of rocket vets as well. Up here on the northern island, there is a trio of artillery pieces that will rain hell upon us as soon as we try to start crossing over there, and it's the only way we can get our battle stations safely to the bridge to the next island, because they blew up the bridge to the island right here. Not only that, but there is also a duo, was it a duo or a trio? I think it's just a duo of Exylvanian battle stations, one sitting on the lower right uh, island and one on the upper right island. The other thing to worry about is a whole mess of gunships around here. The, the reason they give you a bomber is to help clear out the defenses, but every time you do a significant amount of damage to the Exylvanian garrison here, they will start sending gunships after you, but don't worry about that. I have a little strategy I like to call the good old bait and switch. We'll save that for when the gunships start harassing my bomber. That frontier bomber poses a great threat to our forces on the southeast island. Launch a gunship immediately. Forgive me, Kaiser. The frontier are as persistent as they are arrogant. I shall dispatch a gunship at once. I don't know why they considered a gunship to be like a good thing to chase down a bomb. You'd think they would have like a, a fighter squadron on standby to do the job. They do it a lot easier. But no, the gunships will just start hounding your bomber nonstop, and they're more of a nuisance than they are an actual threat. Nope, still alive. Alright, so we got a duo of gunships behind us, bring them back to the battalion, and let the missile vets down there just wipe them off the face of the planet. Don't even stand a chance, I kind of feel bad for these guys walking into such an easy ambush. Alright, looks like the gunships have been taken care of. Let's take care of the heavy tank that's down here real quick. There we go. One of the most satisfying sounds in the entire game is just hearing a, a heavy gu uh, tank just go boom like that. Here's the other battle station. Don't want to deal with that thing just yet because there are a couple of ak, -AK vets down here that will actually be a bigger threat to your bomber than the gunship ever will be. There we go. That's another heavy tank taken care of. So basically the first island is more or less cleared out. Got a few stragglers, but nothing that the ground forces can't deal with. So in that case, let's drop the... No, not drop them right there. Let's drop them right there in front, because we don't have to worry about the artillery shelling them. 
And I want to take a look at the map again. Uh, okay, so the Akax are located right there. If I can take them out, then the upper left island is basically uh, easy pickings for a bomber. Nope, I think that might have gotten the, the Akak. Yep, looks like it got him. I don't hear the, the warning sounds, and yep, looks like the top left island is completely devoid of, of air protection. Now we just deal with the heavy tank that's sitting down there. There we go. Alright, uh, okay, so now that that island's taken care of, down here... Hackhacks are located right next to the heavy tank, but there's also a second group of them sitting up there by the battle station. And on the third island, there's a trio of them sitting right here. Right here. And that's about it. Nope, they're so kicking. Alright, ground forces, start taking care of that guy. Let's get him close to where the bridge is. Okay, I need to call off the bomber for a bit and hit him with the ground forces, otherwise I'm going to lose my best chance to deal any significant damage to the top right island. Alright, so let's get this behemoth moving. The battle station is one of, if not the best ground vehicle in the entire game. It deals the most damage of any ground unit, as well as the fact that it has three heavy machine gun placements, two anti-vehicle placements, and a pair of heavy barrel cannons that can basically one-shot a light tank recon and about two to three shot a heavy tank and about a five shot for a battle station. But the best thing about this is that it also acts like a, a sort of a little bit more of a mobile artillery piece than it does a tank. The bad thing about it though is the fact that the main gun barrels are locked in a forward firing position, meaning that you're going to have to turn this behemoth if you want to target anything with it. And it can be pretty annoying to deal with if it gets flanked. Alright, uh, okay, the heavy tank's still sitting there, thankfully. Let's see if I can pick off the battle station sitting back there. Okay, there's a jerry can waiting for me. Guy, guys, you want to go deal with that? Alright, let's keep you guys back here. Keep you out of harm's way at the battle station. Because it's time for us to go and trade some blows with them. Ooh, direct hit. Right, aim right. There we go, direct hit. You always want to try and go for a direct hit with enemy vehicles rather than the splash damage because that's where you want to get that's where you get the most bang for your buck. There we go. At last, our two armies will meet. Battle station to battle station. Uh glad about that. Your battle station is already a smoking pile of scrap metal. I mean, you still got the other one, so there might be a good chance. Alright, let's keep you sitting up here so you can deal with those. It, there's no rocket vest, it's just missiles, so... Battle Station can deal with them pretty easily. Alright, 
drop you boys off right here. Actually, keep the missile vet separate. I'm gonna take this flame vet, and we're gonna go down here and rescue ourselves some solar POWs. And you. Camera, 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 please work with me. Was, there just a, was that the excavating grunt here, or did I just accidentally step on a cat while crossing that bridge? Nice work, Commander! You have rescued a troop of solar assault vets from the enemy POW camp! Come on, come on, burn him! There we go. And that's all the heroes! Ah, you wish, except for the fact that there's still a sequel to this game, Trooper. Let's call in the bomber, and let's go soften up the next island. And I'm hoping that Jerry can from that tent is still there. Otherwise, this might be the final run of the bomber. I want to actually try my best to keep the bomber alive for this mission. It's really hard to do so because of all the anti-air units, but if you play methodically, it is possible to keep this thing alive. All right, yeah, the Jerry can still sitting there. At the very least, I want to use the bomber to soften up the battle stations sitting there, as well as draw out the last of the gunships so we can take them out and clear the skies for the ground forces. Ingrid, must I point out to you that our enemies, the Western Frontier, are invading the Northeast Isle. Launch Time to the run. Trips and mobilize the heavy tanks. All right, here come the gunships. Alright, miss all right, here comes the battle station. Like a fool, he has left his nest, and now he is unprepared for what waits for him. Oh good, they took out the gunships. You out. Oh dear. Oh boy. It does take a fair number of bombing runs to take out a battle station with a bomber. I think at least three, unless maybe like two and a half, if you can get all your bombs to land right on top of the battle station to get the max uh, yield of its payload. Tied the bomber back there. Oh, oh god, I feel bad for that poor guy. And now that the uh, uh, heavy artillery has been taken care of, it's time to bring in the ground forces to mop up the remaining garrison. Oh, okay, I don't know what you're doing, buddy. I think that might have been an Akak who was just so hell bent on taking out that bomber. All right. All right, so let's take a look. So, aside from the two Akak vets right there, why is there just a heavy tank all the way down there? Let's see. There's a grunt over there. And just a small handful of ground forces. Yeah, we can easily take these, no problem. Right, let's actually take control of one of our grunts, just so we can easily pick out the Akak vets. Fish them up before the bomber gets here, and we are golden. All right, take command from the air. Nice work, Commander. You have captured the first half of the Exylvanian Command Center. Nice we are grunt, work, or free our assault you vets. You have rescued a troop of solar assault vets from the enemy POW camp. Nope, nope, no. Get, there we go. To the capture point. 
What was that? He's just a very like relaxing. Ah. All right, the entire garrison for the other capture point is completely been obliterated. Ground forces are slowly making a way over. I basically call this mission complete. Why is it just a heavy tank staring out into the horizon like doing the man meme? Takes care of that. Let's take control of. You know what? Let's take control of a flame vet. And wow, I was actually able to keep the bomber alive throughout this mission. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Alright, boys are doing a good job taking the capture point. Not long. You have secured both halves of the Exylvanian Command Center. Mission complete. A curse upon the Western Frontier. With our command center in enemy hands, we have no option but to retreat back to Exylvania. The time is right, Herr Kaiser. We must resurrect the Iron Legion and make the Frontier and its allies pay for this indignity. Uh, I definitely spend way too much time with uh, speed. Man, uh, that that would have that's what the only thing that costed us a perfect S rank was just I was too slow and too protective of my bomber. Should have been a little bit more reckless, but hey, still got 100% on everything else, so I'm happy about it. All right, our last new unit of the game, the the battle station. It has a crew of 6, a speed rating of 1, weapons rating of 6, and an armor rating of 5. As well as an anti-infantry, anti-tank, but it is vulnerable to aircraft. The intimidating array of firepower of the Ajax T-500 battle station includes a powerful double-barrel battle cannon, two side-mounted anti-vehicle turrets, and three 50 caliber heavy machine guns. Its only weakness is its lack of anti-air capabilities, but they usually keep an anti-air squad with them, so it's not that bad. Alright folks. Next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, we are not going to begin the ex invasion of the Exylvanian homeland. Instead, we're going to head off to the Campaign 3 bonus mission, and I'm sure a lot of people are excited to see me fumble about there and just, like, panic to the point that it's going to take me, like, five different tries, but, eh, I never really found it to be that difficult. See you guys next time. Later. <laughs> Anybody else see the monkey? Come on guys, tell me you saw the monkey.